Hello friends, this is the second video in step by step setup of Oracle 19C to node rack. In the first video, which was pretty lengthy, we covered what is our prerequisites. And again, let me show you that I am using Oracle Enterprise Linux 7.8 host name CTL. If I do this, you'll see that I'm using Oracle Linux 7.8 and uh, I am use, I'll be setting up the cluster on Oracle 19C and I'll be using, I'm using Oracle VirtualBox 6.0.22. And in the first video, we covered our overview and preparation. What are the steps involved? So we covered that. And in this particular video, the second video, we will be creating our first node or adding the grid software or adding the cluster software onto our first node. So what we have also done in the first video is we have unzipped the, the grid software on node one. So let me go to that particular location where that is been unzipped. So if I come here and V19 grid, that's where I have unzipped my software. And you can see the grid setup is there under v19 grid so if i and i'll be using this the base grid for the oracle base so now as an oracle user you'll be using this grid setup dot sh to launch the grid or you'll be installing the cluster software the grid infrastructure on one node and i'll be doing it only on one node and these are the same options that we chose in the last video in the end so if you have seen the first video from the beginning, you can skip this particular part. And here, what is the cluster? So I'll say rack cluster. And from where I'll get this my scan name. I'll get it from my. So that's my scan name from etc host. And I'm okay with 1521, so I'm not changing that. Then which node I'm going to install and I'm going to choose only one node. By default, it will choose the local node. So I'm not going to, so it has chosen this particular node. So I'm not going to change this. I'm not going to add because I'm doing it on single node. Click on the next. Then it's going to choose the, what are the public IP and private IP. The private IP, I'm going to denote as SMM private while public will be public on the next screen i'll be using oracle flex asm for storage then gimp no and here i'll be changing the data discovery part to give this particular location and then i'll be using this 4gb with external as ocr disk ocr and voting disk click next I'll be using the same password for both and it will show me the warning for the password that it does not mean the Oracle standard because I gave the password as password and I'm going to ignore that warning again intelligent platform management no no and I'm going to use the same group It's again going to give me the warning that I'm using the same group for all of this and I'm going to ignore that warning and where is my base so my base is um, okay. My base is the base grid. That's the empty directory. So if I go here and if I show you a directory which I have created called the base grid, and if I go inside that directory, that is empty. So if I take this particular path and put that path into here and next and oracle inventory i'm okay with that root script execution i'm not i'm going to ignore this option and it's going to do all the checks i'm going to pause the video while it does all the checks and come back when it is done so it's doing all of this so give it a minute and let's see if all the checks passes and the checks which it's going to fail i'm just going to ignore those checks so swap size, I'm okay with that. Avaya daemon not configured, I'm okay with that. And RPM package manager database, that's I'm okay. Th those are warnings, so I'm going to ignore all of them. 
and I'm going to click on next and it says ignore this may impact product configuration I'm going to say are you sure you want to continue I'm going to say yes and then it gives me all of this summary which I can save in a response file if I want to so I'll save that as grid response and then finally click on the install to start my installation and this installation is going to take me a couple of minutes so I'll pause and I'll come back when it actually asked me to run the two scripts into as the root so it's going to do all of it and once it does all of it it comes to this particular part where we need to execute the scripts as root user two scripts will be there which we need to so I'll come back at that point in time and let me pause the video now so looks like it has done all of that part and it is it is asking us to run these two scripts as root so these are the two scripts that we need to run as root so let me I copied those script and let me log in as root so I'm now root and let me run the first script that's done and the second script and the second script is the bit where it does create the ASM instance, ASM disk group, installs the cluster software and does all the configuration which is required for this particular node. And once this particular script will be is done, it's like we are, if this script runs successfully, then we are 90% or close to 99% of our rack one node grid setup completed. This is not one node rack one node. This is just rack installed on this particular node. So and this particular script is going to take a really long time. So what I'll do is in the another window I will monitor this particular file and I'm not going to waste your time. I'll while while you watch this particular tutorial or you see it's going to do all of these steps. It's doing it step one two three and like this it has to do close to 19 steps and then there is a step 16 which takes which is the init config step which actually creates all of that asm and all of that so it's it's really a long thing it's going to take a couple of minutes to finish and i don't want you guys to just wait and watch while this is happening so i'll pause the video and come back Okay, it is still not done everything, but I just wanted to show you that it has reached to this step 16 where it does the ASM has been created and started successfully. So if I show you this particular log, this particular log says ASM. So it has added those disks, stored the password file into ASM and ASM has been created and started successfully. So if I do now, if I look at, if I pause this and if I do PS minus EF grep, ASM you can see my ASM instance running so on my node one the ASM instance is now up and running so that's done so because we have reached and if you see this voting disk uh, with OCR so it's created this particular disk as voting disk and that's done so the this particular step 16 is the one of the lengthy step because it does all this initial configuration and it's going to take a really long time so you can always watch the trail the log file keep an eye on it and see what it is doing if it is stuck or if it is progressing if it is moving to the next command is doing something so you don't have to panic that it's not moving you're not getting any messages you can always Keep an eye on your tail, uh, sorry, log file using tail minus F command to make sure that log is moving. Uh, and I'll, I'll again, yeah, so I'll again pause the video. So it's moving. So let's see what it has done. So it's still see it's now it has moved to step 17. So it's doing all of this. So I'll again, it's going to take a really long time. So I'll pause the video and come back. I just wanted to show you the step 16. 
and finally we are on step 19 of 19 and let's see how our ASM looks so let's go there so this it's still doing this start CVU so it starts is still doing this part and while it's doing this part what we'll do is we'll take a look at our ASM instance so to do that we have to set or env to plus asm1 oh okay home oracle it's asking for this so what exactly happened like let me go back let me see my etc or our tab okay etc or our tab doesn't seem to have an entry for asm data base at all in previous installations when you used to do like in oracle 12c you could see an ASM entry created in etc aura tab automatically by either by the, the grid installation or by the DBCA or when you create a database but in case of your in, so that's done we have everything successful but in case of your 19c looks like aura tab entry is missing so now what we'll do is we'll edit this particular file Let's manually edit it and we'll add the entry. I don't need all of this history. So plus ASM1, then the grid home. And do you want to start it automatically? Yes. Save it. Close it and clear it and make sure that we got that entry so we got that entry and now try doing all our env to plus asm1 and that looks good so now what i'll do is let me connect to asm as this asm and select name comma state from v dollar disk asm disk group ocr mounted so i don't have a disk for data i don't have because when we install this particular disk as in grid it did not ask for the data disk information it only asked for the ocr so i cannot i cannot create the databases on ocr so i need to have a data disk so what i'll do so let's me click on OK and it's going to do some more configuration. So while it is doing this, some more configuration. Uh, let's uh, let's it's it's going to uh, install this Oracle Net configuration is a assistant and ASM configuration assistant ASMCA NetCA. So let's uh, and it's going to finally run this CVU, which is going to fail. If it is going to fail, if it fails, I'm I'm okay with it uh you you do as long as your prerequisites are all fine and everything goes fine and all other things are gone fine the last step if cv cluster verification usually fails you should be okay with it so that's done so let's uh while it is doing the cvu what we'll do is like we'll launch the asmca to configure the disk so asm oh, sorry not the asmca asm configuration assistant so that's still running and I'm launching the ASMCA. I should have not done that actually because I'm trying to launch to. So let me minimize this and let, let, let me finish this. It's doing all these checks once again and making sure. So this is the CVU it is running post CRS INST one or two is going to fail and because of that it might say it's failed and again as i said i'm going to ignore that so while it is doing this we'll go back to our asmca and disk groups right now if you can see i got only asm disk group and this is my asm instance on node one so what i'll do is i'll say create and this is the 12 gb disk i'm going to say this and I'm going to allocate this as a data disk and I'm going to make mark this as external 
and looks like we are done so let's say okay okay so in reality i was expecting a warning but the configuration of oracle grid infrastructure for a cluster was successful and we are also creating the asm disk now so we got data of 12 gb and ocr of 4 gb so we can exit out of this yes and we can close this as well because our grid infrastructure on one node is complete and now let me go back as sys asm and if i show you okay that thing is gone so if i show you select state comma name from v dollar asm disk group i should now see two disk one for ocr and one for data and both of them are mounted so i'm ready to use them so this with this particular tutorial what we have done is we have installed and the grid software on one node once we have installed we have used the asmca utility to configure our node uh, sorry to configure our the data disk and we will check using crs ctl command stat res minus t commands using this command whether most of the things online online so we have everything so we looks like we have we have, we don't have the another node we have only one node so uh, whatever is on so let me do this let me grab db1 and find out if so everything on db1 online 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 so we are good and everything all the resources on our first node are online so this with this we have fin finished the second part in the second part we ran the grid setup dot sh on the first node so we have now grid installed not the database part only the grid installed on the first node and this, again after that we use we edited the etc aura tab to add the entry for plus asm so we have added this entry and also we used the asmca to create a data disk asm disk from the disk that we provisioned before with this the second part of the tutorial is completed i will see you in the next part where we will be installing the database software on the first node using the run installer to uh, install the database and then we will be create using the dbca to create the database on the first node once this particular part three is done our track cluster on single node is up and running so i have one node with the cluster software one node with the database software and one node with the database running on that particular node so see you in the part three of this series of tutorials on step by step installation or setup of oracle 19c to not track thank you and see you in next video bye bye